Welcome back to this installment of the Twits. Okay, now last time we met up, we learned about the world, the Mugglewump family. There's Mugglewump the monkey, and Mugglewump has a wife and two children, and they're all living in a cage inside the Twits' backyard because the Twits used to be monkey trainers. And the monkey trainers take and, as monkey trainers are doing an awful job because they're making these monkeys stand on their head the whole time. And the, that's very bad for the monkeys. The monkeys are fainting. They're having an awful time. And the twits are being twits about it. She's beating them with sticks. He's yelling at them, asking for incomprehensible things. Things that nobody even wants to see. Upside down monkey circuses don't sound that great. Anyways, and so this chapter we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to talk to you about the title. I'm going to show you the pictures so that we can get background information into our heads so that we have something to latch onto and think about while it's being read to us. And then I'm going to go over definitions before I read so that I don't stop in the middle of it and explain like I usually do. But in the little comment section below, as usual, there will be the definitions that I talk about written out. Um, let's see here. Oh, I sing in this chapter. You've been warned. Okay, ready? This is the title of this chapter. The roly-poly bird to the rescue. And it shows the monkeys... They're not upside down. They're standing on a stick screaming. Now, what I'm thinking is, who's the roly-poly bird? Well, I know who the roly-poly bird is. The roly-poly bird is a mother character from Roald Dahl's other book, The Enormous Crocodile. And he's also in this book. It's a big bird. That's what I'll tell you so far. So let's look at the other pictures. We saw the monkeys standing on some kind of stick screaming, it looks like. Whoa! Okay. Um, let's find the next one. Ah, there it is. Now we see the cage, and we see a snake feathery-like bird on top of it. And we see that they are discussing. We see baby monkeys, we see mama monkey, we see mugglewump. So I can't tell the difference between mugglewump and the mama monkey. So, And that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go over the definitions of some of the words that are inside this Okay, so one of the words that I'm going to say in this is miserable. Now, we talked about miserable a little bit last time. The monkeys are miserable. Miserable means you're sad, it's awful, it's bad, you're very unhappy, you are uncomfortable. Okay, have you, if you've ever been sick, like a headache, or you've had the flu, or a fever, you've been miserable. You felt very unhappy and uncomfortable. Or have you ever um, wore a pair of bad-fitting shoes? And you had to walk a lot of places. You are miserable. Somebody's made bad shoe choices, I understand. Okay, now the other word we're going to talk about is magnificent. This is going to refer to a bird, the roly-poly bird. Impressively beautiful, striking. That's what magnificent means, according to a dictionary. Now, I wrote a sentence. This bird has the wow factor. Something amazing to see like a sunset, or maybe if you're into Christmas, a Christmas tree that's lit up in the dark, and it's got all the lights on it, and you see the twinkly little bulbs and things like that. That would be magnificent. Or fireworks on the 4th of July. Magnificent means impressively beautiful. Striking. Okay, so the next one is, or butterfly or peacock is another example I wrote. Those things are usually considered magnificent. Okay, marvelous, very nice, it's pretty, it's wonderful. And then perch, we discussed last time. We've discussed other times, birds fly in and they perch. They stand on the stick. Perch. Okay, so those are the definitions I found in this chapter that I thought you might not be completely familiar with. So, the title of this chapter, once again, is called The Roly-Poly Bird to the Rescue. And <clears throat> I will begin reading. The roly-poly bird to the rescue. Mugglewump and his family longed to escape the cage in Mr. Twit's garden and go back to the African jungle where they came from. They hated Mr. and Mrs. Twit for making their lives so miserable. They also hated them for what they did to the birds every Tuesday and Wednesday. Fly away, birds! They used to shout, jumping up and about in the cage and waving their arms. Don't sit on the big dead tree! It's just been smeared all over with sticky glue. Go and sit somewhere else. But these were English birds, and they couldn't understand the African language the monkeys spoke. 
So they took no notice and went on using the big dead tree and getting caught for Mrs. Twit's bird pie. There's our picture. No, what happened? Oh, there's our picture. Then one day, a truly magnificent bird flew out of the sky and landed on the monkey cage. <clears throat> Good heavens, cried all the monkeys together. It's the Rowley Polly Bird. What on earth are you doing over here in England, Rowley Polly Bird? Like the monkeys, the Rowley Polly Bird came from Africa, and he spoke the same language they did. I've come for a holiday, said the Rowley Polly Bird. I like to travel. He fluffed his marvelous colored feathers and looked rather grandly at the monkeys. For most people, he went on, flying away on holiday is very expensive, but I can fly anywhere in the world for nothing. Do you know how to talk to these English birds? Mugglewump asked him. Of course I do, said the roly-poly word. It's no good going to a country and not knowing the language. Then we must hurry, said Mugglewump. Today is Tuesday, and over there you can already see the revolting Mr. Twit up in the ladder painting sticky glue all of the branches on all the branches of the big dead tree. This evening when the birds come in to roost, you must warn them not to perch on the tree, or they will be made into bird pie. That evening, the roly-poly bird flew around the big dead tree, singing out, there's sticky stuff all over the tree. If you land in the branches, you'll never get free. So fly away, fly away, stay up high, or you'll finish up tomorrow in hot bird pie. And that's the end of that chapter. So what happened? The monkeys got to see their friend, the roly-poly bird, and they got to warn off the birds not to sit there using the roly-poly bird. And we're going to find out what happens next time to the birds that were trying to land, to the monkeys, and to the roly-poly bird. What do you think will happen?